Hey everyone, Bilal aka Cove here, and in version 6.0, we now have Twitter alerts and Twitter actions. The Twitter integration is a great addition because not only can you listen to Twitter alerts when you receive like a follower, a like, a retweet, but you can also send tweets, change your avatar, change your banner, when you go live maybe, or anything else like that that you can do in Twitter, all using Lumia. You can even send a DM or upload an image if you need to. We have a lot to talk about, so let's jump right in. So to get started, we're going to head to connections and then add new connection. We're going to search for Twitter and we're going to just select Twitter. We're going to connect to Twitter, make sure our permissions are selected and we're going to sign in. So after you're signed in, you'll see Twitter show up under services right here. If it's connected, we're all good to go. So we have two categories of using Twitter. We have one Twitter alerts and we the other one is sending Twitter actions. So we'll start with alerts and we'll go to Twitter. So as you see, you have three different alerts you can use. Anytime you receive a follower, you can get an alert. Anytime you get a like for your one of your last 10 tweets, you can get an alert. And anytime you get a retweet for your last 10 tweets, you get an alert as well. Keep in mind, these are your last 10 tweets. If it's, you know, over those 10, then you won't receive an alert for those. And these do not include replies or retweets. These only include your actual tweets. So we'll just test this out really quick. I'm just going to follow myself. And then after a short while, you should see the alert come up. It should just be the flash alert. And there you go. You'll see it says Twitter follower it says who followed Aha Cove. And then you can also see that the variables updated as well. So if I go to my variables and I go to Twitter, and I go to last follower, it'll say last follower username is Aha Cove. It'll even have my avatar. If I just copy this and paste it in the browser, you'll see my avatar shows up. You can do things like, you know, get the last tweet that the person has sent. So maybe you wanna, you know, pop in in text to speech anytime a new person follows you. Uh, you could even have the background color and we'll eventually do more with this, just not at the moment. Um, but we do have it as a variable if you want to do something with it. You'll also see that, you know, you'll get the la your last retweet counts for your last 10 tweets. Uh, you'll have the like count for your last 10 tweets, which is 287 for us. Uh, this is a throwaway account, but you know, you also have your tweet count and different things like that. So if I go and tweet something, you'll also see my variable update. I'll press tweet. And then you'll see our Twitter last tweet update to testing Twitter out in our throwaway account. We also even have the ID. If you need to use the ID for something, uh, you'll see the follower count just updated to 199. And now if I go and like that last tweet that I just sent, I'll like that tweet. And then you'll see Twitter likes count go up to 29. You just received a new like. 29 and the alert goes off. You also may have heard the text to speech. That's because on my Twitter alerts for likes, I have text to speech on that says you just received a new like. Now the variations, if you want to use them, they use for likes, they just use the likes count. So you can use equal to number or greater than equal to number. So if you get, you know, 200 likes on your last 10 tweets, then you can use that as your variation. Uh, for retweets, it's the same thing. It's just the number of retweets you get. And followers, it's just the same thing, the follower numbers. So if you have, you know, 2,000 followers, you can have equal to number 2,001 and have this variation go off. Now, one last thing we're going to try is a text -to speech. I'm going to turn this text -to speech on. And then for my message template, I have the last person to follow is Twitter underscore last follower username. That's the variable. And then it says their last tweet was Twitter last follower tweet. So not only will it get the follower username, it will also get their last tweet and it will display it on text to speech. I can even display the same thing in chatbot. So I can press enable for chatbot and paste that here as well. And let me delete this variation and refresh. So now it keeps track of followers just so people aren't spamming you. So if you have to update all of your follower accounts, if you want to test out, you got to unfollow and follow, but then you also have to close Lumia out and open it back up uh, because it prevents spam. So I'm going to unfollow refresh. I'm going to go to variables just to make sure that it says 198. Okay, perfect. We're good. So now if I go and follow again, we should see the alert go off as well as the text to speech. The last person to follow is Ahad Cove. Their last tweet was bringing back Dexter for another season for a much better ending was the biggest troll in the history of TV. 
there we go. You also see that it says it in Twitch chat as well, because that's how I had it set up. So that's Twitter alerts, you know, wrap up all of our other different tutorials that we have and use them together. You know, you, maybe you want to post in Discord. We have a Discord webhook tutorial as well. Uh, maybe you want to, you know, send a tweet anytime you get a new follower. I don't know. You can do anything you want with Lumia. Just combine everything together. But now we're going to move into Twitter actions. So for Twitter actions, you can also use Twitter actions in alerts, but we're going to specifically use it in a command. So I'm just going to set up a command and then you'll see in the command, there's Twitter right here. We'll select the Twitter tab and then you'll see the different types we can do. So we can send a tweet. We can send a tweet with media, which just selects a, a image or a video. Uh, we can also send a DM as well as sending it with media. We could even upload a profile image or banner image at will. So maybe you want, you know, the last person to redeem a Twitch point becomes the user avatar. So you can do something like that with just using our avatar variable. So you can go to avatar and it will upload that banner image with their user avatar. It's crazy. <laughs> And of course you have the option to remove the banner as well. We're going to test this out with actually a Twitch point. We'll set up a Twitch point and we'll say tweet and we won't have any light change. We want to make sure we prompt the user to enter a message. So we'll say enter a tweet and then we'll go to the Twitter tab and make sure that it says send tweet. So we'll use a variable here. We'll just use the prompt variable and we could even say something like, so this is a tweet from username on Twitch. They said prompt. So I can add this event. I can change my point values. I just want this to be, I mean, hundred points is okay. And then maybe I want to, maybe I want them to only use it like every hour. So I can have a command cooldown. Let's say every minute, no one can use it more than a minute. So we'll have a cooldown here. We'll allow users and mods to bypass it, but then everyone else, you know, has to wait. So I'll press apply refresh. So I'll go to tweet and I'll enter my prompt. I'll say, hello there, right people. I'll press chat. And now if I go to Twitter, you'll see the tweet show up almost instantly. I'll go to my profile and you'll see this is a tweet from Lumia Cove on Twitch. They said, hello there, bright people. So simple. Now, one last thing I want to show you before we leave is using variables. So as I mentioned earlier, you can use those different variables. But let's say we want to update our OBS setup whenever we get a new Twitter follower. So I'll go back to alerts. I'll go to Twitter follower and then I'll select events. And then inside advanced, I'll do manage OBS. And then what we're looking for is set source text. So I'll make a new source in my OBS setup. I'll add a text source. I mean, we just want that, let's say like around here. We're also gonna wanna update the avatar as well. So I'll put that right here. Let's set the source text. So I'm gonna refresh my OBS settings since I just created that source. And it shows up right at the top because that's my newest one. And we don't care about source type. We're just going to do the text. And now the text is just going to be our variable Twitter last follower username and add OBS. Let's just make sure we test this out and see if it's working correctly. If I test it out, then I'll see Aha Cove show up. Now let's also add an avatar. So for the avatar, we're going to use a browser source. We'll hide that for now a little smaller. So now I can do set source URL. I can refresh my OBS settings and use Twitter avatar. And for the URL, we're just going to use Twitter last follower avatar. Let's test it out. Make sure it's working. That's a little too small. We're not going for perfect. We're just going for working. <laughs> okay. So you get the idea. That's all we're going to do. We're going to add OBS. And now anytime we get a new follower, you'll see that show up. So we'll test it out live and we'll follow from the Lumia stream main account. Make sure you'd follow us if you haven't already we're on Twitter at Lumia stream. We'll the last person to follow is Lumia stream. All right. Their last tweet was at Epic Treasure one at tweet view. This is what Lumia is really for HTTPS colon slash slash T dot C O slash Q V H seven nine R B D P two. There we go. Listed out our Twitter username, listed out our tweet. And it also updated the OBS settings. So we're good to go. Let's just hide these and we are done. Now use all of our other tutorials to wrap things together. Like I mentioned earlier, you can even post your tweets to Discord. Anytime, you know, you get a new follower, you could post it to Discord or your, you know, Twitch as well. So many options. If you found this video helpful, please like and comment down below. Let us know any suggestions you have or anything you want to see changed or added. Uh, and make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification because we're releasing a ton of tutorials that you can all wrap to make your Lumio ecosystem yours. We hope you all have a luminous day.